Alrighty guys, welcome to my first tiny house vlog. And as you can see, a lot is going on already with it. In this video, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. We're gonna go over this camper frame that I bought here. Um, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of the preparation and work I put into it these past couple of weeks. And we're just gonna keep it short and sweet. All right, so I wanna say my biggest setback when building a tiny house was the trailer. Uh, I was looking at trailers designed specifically for tiny houses and they were just a little expensive for me. And so I researched other options and came across camper frames. And um, I noticed a lot of other YouTubers using them to build their tiny houses. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace for like $450. Uh, drove out about an hour to check it out. And it actually ended up being too out of shape to tow the first time. It didn't have brakes or anything like that. Uh, went out a second time, fixed it up a little bit, and towed it back to the workshop here. So in the video, I'm power washing it. It was actually in a flood, so it was covered in mud and debris. Um, but I got it pretty cleaned and ready for the rusty metal primer that I applied to it. The camper was covered in stuff that I really didn't need, like these... Uh, slide bars here that supported the slides on the original camper. Um, some additional screws and bolts and stuff like that also needed to come off some wiring and uh, that was pretty quick and simple. Today, since I have the day off from work, I planned on sanding down my trailer. There's lots of old rust and just crap hanging onto it that needs to go. I just went to Home Depot and I got this little cup here. It's a wire cup. And I attached it to my DeWalt sander here, or grinder. And yeah, I'm wearing all kinds of long sleeve stuff uh, just to protect me from the flying rust and metal and all that kind of stuff. Got my gloves and I am ready to sand this thing down. All right, so I cannot stress enough how important it is to wear long sleeve stuff and protection gear while doing this. Uh, that grinder got a little bouncy on the trailer. Uh, especially when applying pressure to certain areas and it did bounce off the trailer and nick my leg just a little bit and there's still a pretty nasty looking uh scar kind of thing left and uh, if i would do it again i would definitely wear jeans um, yeah this was a fun little part of it and took a lot of time but it definitely got the the metal ready for the next step so this is a rusty metal primer um, by Rust-Oleum and it's supposed to bond really well with rusty metal and prep it for actual paint So me and my brother Ben applied that So the other day I finished priming the entire thing as you can see and It's starting to look like a brand new trailer, which is very exciting All right, so this is tractor paint that I got at tractor supply it's oil based and let me tell you something this stuff was thick and took some time and effort to put on uh, but it has such a nice shiny finish to it it feels really strong and like it's not going anywhere so i'm super pleased with the results okay little update here the camper frame is officially coated with its first layer of paint and when i say this thing took a couple days to do it definitely took a couple days to do i'll get off work come in and work on this thing paint as much as i can uh that tractor paint was so thick it just took a lot of effort to get it on but i really like the way it's looking now these axles are looking like garbage so now that the the frame is painted, I gotta do something with those. So when I say first coat of paint, there's some other stuff I wanna detail. Um, but yeah, this is pretty exciting. I'm happy this is done, because I took a lot of work. Okay, so we did a ton today. And I'm going to wrap it up in one little video because it's a lot to explain. So first, we got these jacks in the mail. These are new stabilizer jacks. Uh, the old ones, actually, right over here, 
that were originally on the trailer are all bent up and really in bad shape. So this camper actually got caught in a flood and traveled down a stream. So when it was floating down the stream, these jacks got jacked up. So whole new set of those stabilizer jacks and then a brand new floor frame. It's freaking amazing. So I got to definitely thank my dad for this one. Uh, he knows how to measure all this stuff out. And uh, he has, just has the brains behind all of it. I just cut the wood and just kind of followed along and did some of the labor. But it looks incredible. It's solid. On the outside here, we have treated wood. Um, it's going to be a little bit more exposed to the elements uh, than the inner part of the frame will be. So this is treated. This is not on the inside. Um, but yeah, this was our project today and it is so exciting. It's starting to look like something. Um, also too, a while back, I bought all these windows and I pulled them out of storage and brought them up here. I'm starting to kind of think of where they can go in the tiny house. I got these at, um, a Habitat for Humanity resale store for really cheap. And, uh, I like, I like them a lot. They're pretty cool. And then one more thing over here, pulled this thing out of the garage. So this is a washer and a dryer combined into one. It originally was in my parents' RV here um, and they never used it. So they took it out and now I get to have it. So I think it will save on a lot of space uh, and hopefully will work pretty well.